you share their story and how did they get to where they're at now? Long story. <laughs> no, but we get to No, it's good. Nothing so, um, Gloria and I have, uh, we met about 10 years ago. Okay. Um, I used to be the practice manager for uh, an OBGYN clinic. Nice. And I interviewed Gloria, hired her, just, I thought she was amazing. Mm. And um, throughout working with her, uh, we just became yeah. really good friends. Really good friends. Uh, really good co-workers yeah. um, and became your right hand at work yeah kind of moved up the ladder from mm -hmm. where when I started and so um, around this time I had I'm been kind of like toying around with like making soaps mm -hmm. and skincare stuff and uh, we slowly started to kind of come up with this imaginary business that we were going to have one day oh, right. um, in a spa uh -huh. and um, skip over to like jump into last year where mm -hmm. we were just kind of like let's just do it yeah. and so um, we were having lunch we were <laughs> yeah. looking on craigslist <laughs> found a location in downtown orlando yeah. uh -huh. and i'm like we should just go see it she's like no and i'm like yeah and we signed the lease 48 hours later wow. <laughs> it was that crazy yeah. yeah so i had just completed um my licensing and certification mm -hmm. at uh, at Aveda um, as as an esthetician, mm -hmm. Gloria was certified and licensed to do tattooing, tattooing mm -hmm. and lashes, mm -hmm. and it was just kind of like you know we've never been in this industry. Yeah, we don't have any clients. Mm -hmm. Zero. Zero clients. Zero clients. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> and all we really knew was patient care. Right. And how to make sure that women were healthy yeah. and doing what they were supposed to do yearly. Right. So we knew we so, loved caring for women. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we literally just jumped into it. Yeah. That's awesome. Right? But, but that also helped you out because uh, the customer service side yeah. of you know, right. this business as well. So you yeah. kind of can engage with people. Yeah. 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 First inspiration to, you know what, let's go ahead and do it. Like what's your, what was your inspiration? Like, let's go ahead and start this business. Wow. What was the first thing? Like, no, boom. I'm going to be honest. I think it was decor because we love to shop on our lunch hours <laughs> and we would buy things for uh -huh. our future place. Nice. Literally, yeah. we would buy things and we would buy things. Our husbands are going to watch this. Yeah. <laughs> and like, yeah, we have, <laughs> we like literally had a closet just full of stuff yeah. that we had been collecting. Um, but for me... I had um, I had a little incident with my health, okay. and it was just kind of like that was my rude awakening. Gotcha. Like, what am I really waiting for? Right. Let me just do it. Nice. You know what? I pl like in a, a plan to say, you know, I'm gonna put this here. This way, this is gonna go in the business, or did you? We knew like, exactly what it was going to look like. We even had a, oh, or Gloria had a vision board. Okay. Yes, that's good. And I started a vision board. That's good. Yeah. That's good. Um, a friend of ours. Um, you know, she always did vision boards, and I did a vision board at one of her parties. And I want to say that I think the vision board was in August. Mm -hmm. And I had put on my vision board um, B and U and ology and mm -hmm. the science of things. And it had like a little house, and it had all this stuff. Nice. Um, and it had beauty, and it had some words in it in August. And then we came up with the name together before we found the location. Right. right. We were, you know? I, I was driving home yeah. and I had wanted, I'm, I'm more of the science geek. Yeah. Behind, <laughs> yeah. She's our chemist. Yeah, <laughs> behind uh, our business. Mm -hmm. And so I was like, what if we add ology and just make it really, you know, we yeah. come up with a def, uh, a definition. And so we thought beauty at first. Yes. Mm -hmm. Beauty ology. And we're like, you know what? No, we need to teach women that it's okay to be themselves. Right, so right. that's where we got the B and the U. Yeah. Ah, that's nice. Like, I'm passing by, how do you elaborate to that person? Like, hey, man, this B, you all just be yourself. Or whatever it's going to be. Like, how do you do that? So, again, emphasizing that we have worked with women for right. a, a long, long time. time. Gloria's worked 20-something 20 years. 20 years. Yeah. I had 14 years of experience before I left. Right. And there is always one common denominator. Mm -hmm. 
with our gender. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it is uh, the feeling of feeling selfish if we do anything for ourselves. Mm -hmm. So, um, and we see that a lot in moms. Right. So uh, we see that, oh, well, maybe I shouldn't splurge on a massage right. or I really shouldn't do that. I have to do this. And, and so uh, the idea behind um, our business is just uh, anyone that comes in, this is like their home. Yeah. Um, it's not going to be like any other businesses where you have people checking out mm -hmm. and people waiting to be seen. Their time is their, their time, time and it's quiet. Yeah. Um, our doors are locked. They have the ability to sit down, mm -hmm. have a glass of champagne or yeah. some warm tea. But it's, um, it's, it's, the science of self-care basically yeah, that's kind of what we stand behind is just being okay with the idea of mm. being um of just taking care of yourself yeah. as a follow-up question with that why do you think that women feel that oh man i can't splurge on myself or they feel guilty on treating themselves and i would say i know mother-wise you want to get to your child but why would they feel that either with or without a child I, I feel like even for professionals uh -huh. that don't have children, don't have families, mm -hmm. I feel that our gender has to prove a lot. Mm -hmm. We have to fight for our place in society right. or right. what we're getting, our salaries are, or anything like that. Right. Right. Um, and we struggle so hard in proving all that, that in the meantime, you lose yourself in that. Mm. If the lawyer that just made into the practice is trying to make it you know, part of, the, you know, the team or whatever, mm -hmm. if she goes home early, right? not her, we're not right, picking her. Right. That's it. That's and it. that's just not fair. It's not. It's, it's just not, not fair. Yeah. So we give, we try to provide that time where they can come in and just have that hour to themselves. People go do their nails and people go do pedicures and people go do this. That's right. my time. But during that time you have people talking other languages, you have a TV right. going, you have right. your cell phone there, yeah. you have all of these things, <laughs> yeah. but no one ever takes that time to remember to breathe mm -hmm. and to be alone. Right. Be yeah. alone and be with yourself. So yeah. we're just trying to start a movement. And I, that's awesome. I, I think so. Yeah. I think to us, it's not about the numbers. Mm -hmm. We work in a, we worked and we came from a place that numbers are very important. Right. right. Numbers, numbers. You mm -hmm. see that in school now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's what are they testing? What are their mm -hmm. scores? What's the demographic? What's yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And these numbers mm -hmm. need to go away, and we need to start realizing yeah. that we're all individuals. We're not a number. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I we just we that's that's what we're trying to do. That's awesome. You also provide that you know that motivational talking or that inspirational talking. The motivational talking always comes out. It comes no matter what. I believe it. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the movie where the ladies are getting their nails done and they're talking about their mm -hmm. partner and their, it, that yeah. all eventually comes out. And I appreciate that mm -hmm. just because um, for a lot of people that are coming in, I'm a complete stranger. Right. So right. To, to be That's able true. to feel so comfortable mm -hmm. uh, with someone that you've never met before or uh if i mean if it's not even talking about mm -hmm. what's going on in their life taking a nap yeah. um people are like oh my god i fell asleep and they do fall asleep and mm -hmm. some snore <laughs> and they just have an awesome nap and they're just like oh i'm so sorry that i did that yeah. and it's like don't that's yeah, like the ultimate cool. compliment right, yeah, yeah, yeah. that i was able to be <laughs> so great and yeah. everything was just so quiet and perfect that yeah. you were able to trust yourself that, awesome. to yeah. do that and, I think that's important. Oh, it's not, and we're know. also very conscious of our schedule mm -hmm. we don't schedule clients back to back mm -hmm. because there are times that we have when she even does she does mm -hmm. reiki healing stuff that you know they feel very emotional or they are actually talking or they're right. feeling where they can be open mm -hmm. we don't want to feel like we have to rush you now out the door because right. someone's coming in 15 minutes right, right. so we pride ourselves on making sure that there's time before and mm -hmm. after before another client comes that's good you'll never come to your appointment and have people waiting mm -hmm. it's it's just about you that's good it's your time that's awesome and that's what we're promising. Right. You know, prior to uh, coming in, I had a session at, at 11 this morning, mm -hmm. and she left at 1.30. Wow. And it was a 40-minute session. Yeah. And um, when we were done, we sat here, we had warm tea, and mm -hmm. she cried, 
and she laughed and then we cried together and we hugged and it was just um that's just what happens and like gloria said um it's uh, you know the idea of just having people constantly coming in mm -hmm. and you know of course money would be fantastic <laughs> um but it's really I not the stress as a professional i don't feel like the client should have the stress either right, right. right. yeah we came from a very stressful environment yeah and we're priding ourselves right. that our new venture is not that kind of stress right. every there's stress in everything yeah. but not that kind of Well, just a few. Um, we are mainly skincare, so we do everything from chemical peels to permanent makeup. Um, Gloria does the permanent makeup. She is our lash artist. Um, I do more of the skincare, so I'm the lead esthetician. Mm -hmm. And um, everything, everything is customized. Um, not one skin is alike. So uh, we frequently get, well, what should I pick? You know, just schedule a time that you can come in. Let's sit down. Let's talk. Mm -hmm. Let me use my, you know, uh, implements and we'll take a look and then we just kind of take it from there. So everything is customized. Um, we incorporate aromatherapy and that's kind of how we like to stand out. Um, again, staying in tune with wellness and relaxation. Um, our concept behind our business is taking our clients through a sensory journey. So when they come in, the first thing that they comment on is, wow, it smells so nice. So, yeah, he did. <laughs> so when you have your service, we figure out what aroma you're most connected with and then we're constantly using that throughout the service. So even if it's in the massage oil that I utilize to do a neck and shoulder massage or in our cleanser, right down to the steam towels, you're connecting that aroma to an enjoyable experience, to relaxation. Gotcha. Awesome. And I incorporate the same thing in the permanent makeup and the lashes and all that stuff. What are the struggles oh. that you had in the beginning of the startup and then also the struggles that you have to maintain? Because mm -hmm. a lot of times, the young people just assume, oh, I want to be a restaurant owner, I want to be a, you know, a hair you know, a stylist, whatever it should be, and I'll run the business, but they only see the end result. They only see the story. Like they only yeah. see the side. So what are the, you know, the things that they don't see? What's the process and the struggles of actually starting as well as maintaining? Uh, I would, it's hard, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, it's no. hard <laughs> being it's a hard. small business owner. Um, you know, I guess my biggest, I, I would definitely have to say, if you're going to venture off and do whatever it is on your own, mm -hmm. either be a restaurant mm -hmm. or a spa, start off small we started off very small mm -hmm. but it was a very conscientious 20 square feet actually 300 but our idea was <laughs> is like okay if we don't make it because again we were very new to the industry we've been in the medical field for 20 years you know nothing <laughs> about cosmetics or anything like that can we afford the rent if we're not getting traffic through the door? So that's what I tell you everyone. You want to make sure that you can cover that rent if you're not getting the clients that you know are coming through the door, paying and covering your rent. Um, we, that was something that we were very conscientious about mm -hmm. in the beginning. And still now, still now, even though we've expanded four times the size, we went from being like a little over 300 square feet mm -hmm. to almost 1,200 square feet. But we've been so very lucky and blessed. Um, and they, something else that I run into is that people think that they can just post on social media yeah. and 
<laughs> Use Instagram and Facebook, and yeah, yeah that's going to get people through the door. Right, um, right. No, that, you know, yeah. it's a, our industry is extremely mm -hmm. competitive. Mm -hmm. uh, so I tell everyone, you know, it's about learning what your niche is going to be mm -hmm. and just kind of expanding upon that. your research you really need to do you know the homework behind it mm -hmm. and what kind of fears me with the millennials and the centennials yeah. and stuff like that we're so used to um you know quick and response time of seeing things you yeah. google something yeah, you look yeah, at something yeah. social media is constantly feeding you with all this information mm -hmm. so they lack patience they do I think the attention and time span now for my middle schoolers is like 7 to 15 seconds. If you get that. Yeah, barely. Right. Yeah. If you get that. <laughs> the first three seconds. And that really. depends what year they're in <laughs> right. in middle school. Exactly. Because exactly. 6 and 8 is a whole yeah, other ball game. Yeah, different. Trust me, I So, <laughs> you know, it's just like, then they have like this sense of entitlement. Like, what do you mean right. I'm not going to make it? Right, right, And right, I feel right. we're losing the work ethic. And our children, we're losing, you mm -hmm. know, um, time. They don't have patience. Yeah. They don't have... So we constantly bring in our children and let them spend the day with that's us good. so they can see this good. takes work. Yeah, 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 that's very good. That's our good. kids are constantly yeah. here. You know? That's They're good. not here during services, just right. because, yeah. again, going back that's to right. that being their time, right. but um, Gloria's children are, you know, they're teenagers. My boys painted. <laughs> oh, oh, you know what I mean? And yeah, if you yeah. ask them, they hated every moment right, of it. Right. It was so hard to paint. But, but they need process. to know. Yeah, that's, right. that's a part of it. Mm -hmm. I need to save $1,500. I can't hire a painter. Right, so right. my three boys are coming to <laughs> paint. Right, yeah. And, it's, and that's just kind of the way it is. We've had a couple of schools come in and we talk to the students. Mm -hmm. Because also, you know, I teach lash extensions also. Nice. Um, people are quick to say, I can do this from my home. I can right. do this from my house. Right. Uh -huh. And what we try to tell everyone is, yeah, you can, but you need to follow these right. rules. You got a residential business. So we're telling them, that. please don't get <laughs> caught up yeah. in losing a license that you paid $19,000 for. Yeah. And you have a student loan for who knows how long. Yeah. Right. Like, yeah. don't lose it because right. of this. Right, right, right. Do it the right way. So all of our students have the ability to rent a space for an hour That's at a good. time. Awesome. But I don't want them to lose their license. Right, right, you know? right. For sure, yeah. So yeah. all of our students that come through here, we try to give them the opportunity. Hey, there's a place here. You could be licensed. You could be whatever. You could use it for the two yeah. hours, and you could walk right out right, off the door. Right. But at least you know there's nothing going to happen exactly. to your license. Yeah, yeah. But um, <laughs> to be honest, being here in downtown Kissimmee, mm -hmm. um, we've learned that they're such a tight community, mm -hmm. and they are very supportive. Right. And like we had a meeting today with some other of <clears throat> the small the business businesses. owners around here. Right. And it honestly, it felt so good to see so many people come together right. to honestly want to help each other out. Yeah. Despite even if your services might match yeah, or yeah, whatever. Right, right. But it was a very, it, it felt amazing. That's good. Yeah, that's good. When, when people can come together, with, especially when you're like-minded. Right, you all, whether it's the same right. business mm -hmm. or not, you all have the, okay, I own a business and mm -hmm. I have to run a business. Mm -hmm. Right, and it doesn't feel like, um, which, again, we're in an industry that's very right. popular right, right, right now. Right. And uh, today in the meeting, we learned that mm -hmm. there are several different places like just six, like ours. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. So, yeah. but it doesn't feel like we're competing yeah. or there's a need to compete or anything yeah, like right. that. We yeah. um, wholeheartedly respect everyone as an individual and, yeah. you know, yeah. continued awesome. success for everyone. That's why I always try to say, because I, I used to have my own, uh, I used to make shirts, right? I used to customize shirts. Okay. And what a lot of people, what a lot of other people used to start the shirts, they used to come to me like, hey man, uh, you you help me out? I'm like, yeah, sure. Like, why would you think? They, they'll be like intimidated or thought, intimidated. thought I only made my own right. dance life shirts or whatever. I was like, nah, I, uh, whatever you need, like I'll help you out. So you can start off and you can flourish because at the end of the day, like there's 70 some odd thousand people in Kissimmee. There's no way I'm going to serve. You know, I can't right. serve 70 thousand people. I know, that's people, what we say. And you know, I can't. I wouldn't be able to handle the demand in mm -hmm. all in all reality. So mm -hmm. it's was like, sure, share the what, share the clients, share the wealth, share the, the you know, knowledge. Everything. Yeah, not everything. So I give them, my, I give them my my whole like not say business plan, but my mm -hmm. whole everything I did, my right. whole process. Mm -hmm. And you can go ahead and build yourself because that's what I think. And in, in, in a time of need, sometimes mm -hmm. it really helps you out because word of mouth is the best 
marketing yeah. effort. Absolutely. And we <laughs> mostly ran from word of mouth. Word of mouth. Yeah. Referrals. That's good. That's most of that's ninety percent of our clientele yeah. is through referrals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we came from a place where we had over fourteen physicians. Mm. At that and time, yeah. at that time, and you have a hundred patients coming through the door, right. but a patient is going to connect with that one person. Right, right, right. right. You know, exactly. so if someone connects with Daniela, doesn't connect with me, mm. I don't take it personal. Right. I'm so happy for you. Yeah, the same yeah, yeah. way for the spa down the block. Yeah. Everyone is meant for somebody. True story. And that's just that's yeah. our philosophy. Yeah, you know. Yeah, that's awesome. That's awesome. Go where you're happy is my thing. Right. For sure. Yeah. Go where you're happy.